I'm gonna try to break her out of that. Just check for frauds. She thinks everything is coming by the way. It was a whole journey. I had high cholesterol and high blood pressure. I took the chance and... You see the attitude? And from being a barber, I wanted to come out with my own line of hair product. Never a ticket, never an accident. Oh wait, baby, don't jinx it. Welcome to the Life of Pacinos. We haven't recorded in almost a year, but the year's about to end, so I wanted to make sure uh, we give you guys some content, talk to you a little bit about what's been going on for 2023 and uh, what we plan on doing for 2024. Hey. Do it. So as you guys can see, I have my Hulkamania shirt going wild. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm like the little on Hulkamania. Um, anyways, I got my workout shirt because we just got back from the gym. This is a part of our new routine. Ever since January 2023, we started going to the gym together, making sure like our nutrition is correct and uh, just trying to basically just transform ourselves, uh, not just physically, but also mentally and uh, nutritionally. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what Diana literally cooks for me and uh, what we like to eat to try to like sustain, you know, this type of lifestyle. I'm hungry. Diana is new to YouTube. I'm actually new to, to YouTube <laughs> also. This is gonna be part of the journey, showing you guys exactly what I eat, what she eats. So basically what my life is all about, cause it's not just sometimes what you guys see on Instagram for my Instagram followers, but it's more to it. It's more about the family, about the business, about friendship, and again, our daily routine. So basically, as you guys saw, we just came from the gym. Diana's a little camera shy, that's why you guys don't really see her speak too much. I'm gonna try to break her out of that. But anyways, my <laughs> breakfast is oatmeal and then <laughs> eggs. She thinks everything is funny, by the way. No, Look, no, no, she can't no, stop no. laughing. So when I first met Diana, like that's what kind of grabbed my attention was she laughs at everything. <laughs> so she really made me feel like I was a funny guy. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, man, this girl really thinks I'm funny. And then later on I realized the girl laughs at everything. Have you noticed that all of my clothes I'm always smiling? <laughs> She's always smart in the video. I can't but stay serious. This is my breakfast. Uh, how many eggs did you put in here? Four or five? I think it's a... So I basically eat four to five eggs in the morning. We take egg whites only, and then I also eat oatmeal. So that's basically my breakfast after I work out. I know a lot of you guys that work out sometimes eat before you train. Let me know in the comments if you train, if you eat before you train or after you train. So I wake up around six o'clock in the morning, get the kids ready, we take them to school, drop them off by 7.30, and we're at the gym at eight o'clock in the morning and we start our workout. We're typically home by about 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, and that's when I have my first meal of the day. So I typically like to try to eat no more, no more than 15 to 30 minutes max right after I work out. So it's real important from the gym, we get straight home, and then we start making breakfast in order for me to eat because supposedly there's that window after you work out that uh, you should pretty much try to eat right after you work out to try to get all that protein and everything injected into the muscles. But more importantly, my health was in jeopardy. I had high cholesterol and high blood pressure. So that's when I made a conscious decision to say, hey, not only do I want to start trying to transform myself, but I want to make sure I'm careful and more conscious of what I'm eating. The nutrition is key when you're trying to lose weight. Everybody thinks, everybody thinks if you just go to the gym and start pumping iron and start working out every day, you're gonna lose the weight. It does, it's not that easy. I would say food is probably about 85% to 90% of a transformation. And what I mean by that is you have to start understanding what you're eating, your proteins, your fats, your carbs. You need all these things, but it's different percentages of, of what you need. And then the other thing, if you really wanna start losing weight, you have to go into something called a caloric deficit, which means you gotta figure out what is your, your daily calorie intake that you're doing now. There's a calculator up on that, you know, if you Google it, and then you have to typically start trying to eat 500 calories less than your typical daily intake of calories. So again, I'm not a nutritionist by no means. I'm just giving you guys my experience. I'm not a doctor. I'm not no health nutrition. I'm not a fitness instructor by no means. I'm still a student. I'm still trying to learn. I'm enjoying this because I never used to take care of my body. I used to go out, party, eat two, three o'clock in the morning, chicharron de pollo, I would just eat so bad and I would eat a lot of fried food. Now, I try very, very hard not to eat fried food. I don't drink no more soda, I don't drink juices, I drink water. Uh, that's another thing. When I stopped drinking soda, my belly went from here to here. Like, it started to deflate. 
because I just stopped drinking soda. What are you doing to lose the weight? Or you know, how do you balance the family? Because when you're an entrepreneur, it is a little hard sometimes because sometimes you're so focused on work that you forget about the family. I try very hard to do something called time management, right? I figure out how much time I'm gonna spend with the family and how much time I'm gonna spend with the business. It's a balancing act, you know? I try very hard not to travel as much as I used to travel because I wanna be there for Valentina, for Prince, whether it's for baseball, for gymnastics. So these are all the little things as an entrepreneur slash father slash husband that you wanna make sure you try to balance out. Taina, some of you guys know her, some of you guys don't know her based off my Instagram. I met Diana about 20 years ago. I used to be a nightclub promoter. One night she came to the party with her friends. She had just moved from Puerto Rico. And that first night that she got there, that's the first night I met her. Ever since then, we just started hanging out. And when we first started, we lived in a one bedroom apartment. It was me, her, and her son Elijah that I raised since he was two years old. And we basically slept on an air mattress, like literally an air mattress. Like that's how we started. She's been there since day one. It's been a pretty cool journey. It hasn't always been a perfect journey, I'll tell you that much. We've had our ups and downs, but I feel like communication is the key to all this. So yeah, I think I'm about to eat breakfast. So there's my breakfast. Diana, come sit down. Diana's like acting shy over here. It's like, so there's my breakfast, um, my oatmeal, and my eggs. So again, this is basically what I'm gonna be eating. Diana, what are you eating? Oatmeal first. Then I'll have some protein. Baby, but don't talk to me. You gotta talk to the mic when you speak. I can't, I'm not ready. No, she wasn't ready. She's like always so shy and like laughing and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's hilarious. Baby, when you speak, you gotta speak to the mic. If not, they can't hear you. I can't. Yes, yeah, you can. Please. You need my oatmeal. I'm gonna finish eating breakfast, take a shower, and then we're gonna get going. Ready to go? Uh, Diana! I think Diana already walked up. This is what I'm always talking about. He's always rushing me, but he just doesn't understand how he's always running me behind. I still have to go to the office and finish a job that I started yesterday. I only have one hour to finish it. I have to do some emails, then pick up the kids. Just picking up the kids, I hate that traffic, but you have to do it. I have to come home and cook dinner, but today is gonna to be one of those days to say, can we eat out? <laughs> Never has a problem with that, but anyways, he's running behind. I gotta go. And he's in there talking, I don't know what. About to head to the office, show you guys a little bit about my day to day from, like I said, coming home, what I eat. Hold on, let me get my glasses. This is one of my like uh, sunglass rod. Upstairs in my bathroom, I have like four, I think you call them bins or something like that, of nothing but sunglasses. I love, love, love sunglasses. So again, this is like the drawer that we just keep the sunglasses here that we typically use. You'll see some of the collection here. I'll probably do these vintage frames today. Something light. We're gonna head over to the office. I can show you guys a little bit of the office, the warehouse, the day to day. You know, some of you guys may know it, some of you guys may not, but yes, I was a barber. And from being a barber, I wanted to come out with my own line of hair products. And it was a whole journey that was started in 2012. And here we are in 2023 now. We're fortunate enough to be able to launch and, and make it. There's a lot of brands that launch and it's very hard and it's very difficult to just have a brand and let the brand support. I don't cut hair no more. I don't do the uh, parties I used to do with my friends. I've invested all my time and all my energy into the brand. All right, let's see what Eric is doing. I'm running behind. Babe. Yeah. Running late. I know, baby, I have to pay. Are you right there? You see the attitude? Here's what happens. <laughs> She's rushing me. He needs to get no. paid. No. PayPal's taking forever. Let's I go. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Hello, thank you. All right. <laughs> but, so what do you want me to do? Like on my iPhone, try to speed up the process to pay for pay uh, through PayPal. It's a very simple study, my friend. <laughs> you gotta pay them, man. It takes time. But Diana's like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Meanwhile, you guys are gonna see in a couple episodes from now, her probably getting ready, how long it takes her, and how quick I get ready. We're headed to the office, um, do a little bit of work, then we'll be leaving the office and. Um, we have to go pick up the kids from school. Dana, 
Be careful driving. I told you, when I'm driving, do not tell me I failed. Guys, am I the only one? And leave this in the comment. You know when you tell somebody, hey man, you know, good seeing you. All right, take care, right? Like you tell them like, take care. Not because they're gonna run out and do something crazy. It's just something that you're used to saying, right? So Taina hates, and I mean hates, when I say, babe, be careful. You're be careful are always at the wrong time. It's not, okay, hey babe, just be careful, all right? No, it's really be careful. Like if I didn't know what I was doing or what I'm doing. She doesn't. Never a ticket, never an accident. Oh wait, baby, don't jinx it. Yeah. Look, we're going around a curve right now, so of course, naturally, <laughs> what am I gonna say? <laughs> baby, be careful. And honestly, you're going too fast. I don't like it. Ronnie, are you okay back there? I'm fine, all right. I don't my seatbelt. Yeah, always need a seatbelt. But yeah, so let me know in the comments if when that. somebody else drives, especially your spouse, tell them like, hey, be careful. It's not belittling them or trying to tell them they don't know how to drive. It's just some kind of words of encouragement as they drive to just be careful. Like, look at this guy driving all over this white line. <laughs> look at this guy. Wow. Now he needs to be careful. So we're here now. The office is our office warehouse. This is actually our really fourth location from when we first started. Our first location, believe it or not, was in our dining room table where we used to live. So our second location was actually in City Place, West Palm. We had an office about 500 square feet. And it was funny because we used to literally order pallets to this little office space on the second floor. And we literally would take a chair, something like this, take off these boxes, put them on to this chair and have to put this chair in the elevator bring it up and basically unload these boxes of product into this office that we have when we first started. And then eventually we moved over to another, our first official office warehouse space and we outgrew that one. And now we got this space here, which is uh, our fourth official office warehouse space. So this is the warehouse back here. Uh, as you're gonna see a bunch of pallets, a bunch of products. This is about a 5,000 square foot warehouse. You're gonna see pretty much all our inventory here. So this is where we do most of our pick and pack. Basically all of our Shopify, all of our website inventory is stored here. So when people order online, it's called pick and pack where uh, you know single items, they ship out. We do international distribution here. We have another warehouse up north that does the bulk of all of our retail uh, distribution. They send it out to all of our retailers, DC, so they can make sure they put it on the shelves of our uh, stores that we're in, Target, Walgreens, CVS. This here, again, stays pretty busy. As you guys can see, we have a couple different forklifts. We have this bad boy. This is, uh, this is outworn mail on orders from uh, just today. The ladies are still doing over there more order. These are pallets that have to go out. So these pallets already been wrapped. So this is pretty much the warehouse. We keep all of our products for um, international distribution and for our, our website. Hi guys. All right, I think I'll be more comfortable talking about what I like to do. I do love coming to the office every day, every morning. The first thing I do, I just come, check my order, see how many I have for the day. Normally I'll get like 400 to 500 orders a day. The first thing I do, I just check for frauds. I get a couple of those, but I'm pretty good at catching them. And uh, I love to send out first my priorities. So we make sure that those packages come out first. After I print out a good batch of, um, of labels, here's what my labels look like. I come here. My girl Jimena, Jimena, me aquí. <laughs> this is Jimena. I couldn't do it without her. She's amazing. She's been with us for four years. <laughs> and uh, the days that I can't come in because I have to do mommy duty, she, she steps in and she's the one that organizes everything, makes sure everything is labeled the right way. And uh, we go from there. There's days that we'll get here at nine o'clock and we won't leave till after five. And make sure that all these orders are ready for you. So about to do a little bit of work. My day to day, man, I don't even know how to describe it. Looking over my notes first and foremost, this is this is how I know what my day needs to be about. Is I have to go into my notes. As you can see, I'm always writing stuff down, crossing it out. So I'm very old school. I like to write everything down. Um, I think that is a key, is writing things down. Because uh, what happens is sometimes you come up with the best ideas, but those best ideas sometimes never get executed because we don't write it down. Um, what's this? Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, so it's, it's about 60, 100 square feet.
So we wrapped it up at the office. On the way to go pick up the kids. Uh, see you in a sec. All right, we're home. Bye, this is when the real mommy duty starts. Homework, cooking, baking. I promise Valentina to bake cupcakes. Ay, 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 ay. Let's get started. Cool, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The watermelon? Oh, I like watermelon. I'll cut the watermelon. <laughs> and you know, there's always a hit and miss with it. And it bothers me that we buy watermelon and I end up throwing it away. I don't know how to pick watermelon. So, what are you supposed to knock on? Hello? Yeah. Who's there? No, I'm going to play softball. Let me see the last one. the last one. I put it the wrong way. Oh man, what did I say? This is the reason I can't stand buying watermelon. Look how bad that is. Look at this one. He's not gonna be happy about it. Eric! Yeah. Come here, please. Huh? Come here. Please. please. Is it is it bad? Super bad. Oh shoot. Y tenía las ganas para comer watermelon. Ese es aroma, papá. Toma, come fruta. Mira, mini watermelon, right there. <laughs> Little green grapes. Get shot, get shot. So we're out here getting a little BP body practice with Prince. Baseball season's about to start in another month or so, so I always like to keep them active. Uh, Valentina and mommy in there baking. Uh, I think some, br not brownies, but I think some cupcakes. But Valentina will probably be out here in a minute also. She loves doing gymnastics. So uh, when we come home, it's like a full press, like mommy, daddy duty. Like we got to stay with these kids like actively. We play first play some sports. Then, I'll, you know, whether they're baking or whatever they're doing. Then after that, then we do the homework because they've been in school all day. So we don't want to put up like from school to jump right onto homework. So we play with them a little bit. And then after that, we're going to go in and do their homework with them. It's pretty much it. You know, after this, Try to get to bed by like 8 p.m. Start all over again. So you guys kind of seen a little bit of my day today. This is pretty much like, I'd say 90% of my time. The 10% is when I travel, things like that. But 90% of my day, this, this is what it's about. It's trying to get that balance between family and business. But you know, when you have young ones, like you don't want to miss out on them growing up. You don't want to miss out on their first, you know, baseball hit or their first backflip that Valentina can do now. So that's what's most important to me is making sure that I see my kids grow, literally, and uh, I'm there for them because, uh, again, you know, I'm blessed to be able to have, you know, a business that, that is sustainable and I don't have to be there 24-7. Weekends, sometimes I'll take Diane out just to dinner, just her and I, just so we can have some mommy daddy time as well. But yeah, guys. This is again, Life of Pacinos. We're gonna be having some pretty cool episodes, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and please leave any comments down below of what type of episodes you guys wanna see or what you guys want us to talk about, all right? I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. See you soon. See you soon.